prosecutors outlined a very detailed case. They had about 200 pages of documents. Uh, they say that more than 125 million Egyptian pounds, or about 17 million dollars, uh, was spent by the former president Hosni Mubarak and his family, basically at their at their whim. Uh, it was used to decorate, furnish, and expand their own private property empire. Now that included a lavish palace here in Cairo, where they lived, but also a number of villas on the Red Sea uh, and a family farm. Now prosecutors say that. Whenever they wanted to acquire anything, uh, be it furniture, be it uh, installing a new jacuzzi or installing an elevator, or in one case even building a new wing on the property, uh, they simply used uh, the private, the public funds for that purpose. Fake receipts were supplied uh, to a state construction company, and they paid the bill. Now we had a good look at Hosni Mubarak when he came to court today. Uh, he was seated in the dock. Uh, he was wearing a dark suit. He looked. Uh, quite somber but alert. He didn't betray any emotion. His sons were on either side of him. Of course, this embezzlement was a family affair. Uh, he got the three-year sentence. The uh, sons were sentenced to four years each. Now, his lawyer told us after the verdict that he expected the former president would now be moved uh, from the military hospital where he has been held since last August to prison. Uh, he said he would have to begin his prison term before they could start an appeal. And of course, this isn't his only legal case. Uh, he's also being retried for complicity uh, in the killing of protesters during the 2011 revolution. And as you may have been able to hear, uh, there have been a very small number, a small number, but a, a vocal group of Mubarak supporters, I would say less than half a dozen, and they've been protesting outside the court.